Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. I'm here with Bill Kotsun of Corvette Mike yes. Midwest. Yes. Okay, so there's a West Coast and East Coast, and we're here in the Midwest. And I'm going to grab the cameras I usually do from Jim. Jim, step over there, though. Usually I don't bring my camera guy in, but this time I'm going to bring Jim in just because Jim Wozniak uh, introduced me to Bill. Thank you, Jim. Hello, so, everybody out there in TV land. So jump back. <laughs> and, and Bill, I'm going to move over to our star attraction. Uh, first of all, let me put you right next to the car for a second. All right. Tell me a little bit about, give yourself a plug. What, what, what's your, how long have you been with the, the organization? I'm one of the owners of Corvette Mike Midwest. We opened this location about 10 years ago. My partner is Larry Kelsey, and we retired from our corporate lives and decided to turn a hobby into a business. How cool was that? Yeah, it's a little bit more work than we thought it was going to be. I thought I'd play a little more golf, but we did it to enjoy the cars and meet people, and we really met our expectations. And, and this is your 10th year. Yes, it is. So congratulations. So, Thank you. With that being said, and I'm going to have all the details in the video of where they could find Corvettes from this, so let's go right to our star attraction. What do you have here behind me? Come on with me. Okay. And tell me what you've got here. We have a 1966 Rally Red Corvette Convertible. Rally Red Corvette Convertible. And I'm going to feature some of this while we, while we walk and talk. So, so these mid-year Corvettes like this, is that what they call them? Yes, they do, yeah. The C2 generation is just about as spectacular as you can get with the hideaway headlights. And, the, and this is a complete restoration. This is a complete factory frame off restoration that was done about 10 years ago and the car looks just as good as it did uh, when it yeah. hit the floor in 1966. It's, uh, it's spectacular and one of the cars, of the many cars that you have, that actually I said we've got to do this car. It doesn't get much better than that. The 427 was the biggest engine. Yes, it is. Yeah. And 27, 425 horsepower. And that that was as big as it got. Yes, it was. And the yellow, uh, the yellow uh, sidewalls like right. that. The uh, gold the line tires. Gold line tires. Right. With the, those are reproduction, but factory style knockoff wheels that were popular back on the mid years in '65 and '66. And let's get it one more overall shot of the car. This also has the factory side exhaust on it, which again is also a nice added option. Really, really cool. Yeah. So let's let's take a look. Now we've got the uh, uh, obviously the convertible uh, here, and we've got a wonderful rear end. I mean, this car looks good in the front. This car looks good in the back. The exhaust, needless to say, is not coming out the back because we've already seen it out the side. But uh, it doesn't get much better than this. You see, the paint is so spectacular, you can see me videoing off it. And the wonderful gas cap that uh, pops. So, how's that pop up? Is it a push? There we go. And it's got the, the spring load there. And it just shoots right back down like so. And uh, you've ever had any problem putting gas in it when it's in the center like that? Not really. You just have to be careful that okay. you don't drip on it. Yeah, okay. Uh, Bring a little towel or something. We've right. got the antenna in the back. And that's a correct antenna, by the way. Okay. That's yeah. enough. We'll just power antenna. A power antenna. I didn't realize that. And was it just an AM radio at that time? AM FM. AM FM. Yep. Okay, all right. We're moving up. Well, we're gonna jump in it as we usually do, so that people can get the uh, feel for that. And this is the lock. Yes. Okay. And what is this? That's the door to open handle it. Handle to open it. Okay, door handle to open it. Got it. This little vent window here. The pull to close it. Got it. And we've got the. Uh, is this? Is this side pipe, does this get awful hot when you're riding it? Or well, no? that's uh, the, that protective vent on there, so no, it really does. Okay, all right, so there is a protective vent, and yeah. you can bring your wife in this thing and she won't get scorched. Okay, right. before I do that, let me just do this. Let me show 
You've got headrests on this one, which usually Corvettes don't have headrests. 66 was the first year for headrests in a Corvette. This also has a telescopic wheel look. Okay, show me how the telescopic wheel works. Basically, loosen this, oh. and it pulls in and out. Do that again. Cool. All right. And that, that locks it in place. I didn't see that coming. Well, that is awesome. Okay, and that was 60. Technology. Yeah, 66 was the first year for that? Yes, uh, 65, actually. 65. Okay. And obviously the headlights. And the lights on a separate gauge for the headlights versus the lights. Well, that... The, this is actually what how you open the switch for the, the headlights. The hideaways. Flip. Right, right. Okay, and that button down there I know is the brights. Yes. I remember that from when I had a 65 Chevy, and we've got obviously a four-speed here, so we've got the three pedals. And this car has an original 37,000 miles on it? Yes, it does. And remember, folks, the cars I'm showing you are for sale. So, uh, pretty cool. And even if by the time you see this video, this one's gone, uh, you can always call Bill and I'll have that detail for you and you can find out about what he has in stock. Uh, and I'm sure he has connections to the other locations as well in case they have something that you're looking for. The parking brake. You know what, let, yeah, well, let, let me do this first. Oh cool, we got all the Corvette brochures and information there. Yeah, let me, let me pull that out. Here's the sticker. That's a reproduction window sticker, but it's based on you know the actual shipping dealer and all of the information on there that's required when you get a car judged in NCRS. And what is NCRS? National Corvette Restorers Society. Very cool. So let me, uh, I'll let you pull that up and I'll put that right back there. All right, let me just get that. The tire pressure details there on the inside. Okay, shut that. Cool. Nice glove box. And we've got the uh, clock here. Along with the temperature. The FM and AM. You saw that bar slides up and down. Yeah. I just want to show that as well. Again, that tag was factory and that's required for judging. Got it, and it says Delco there, so we'll push that accordingly. We've got the, I'm, I'm assuming that this little pull up here is for reverse. Yes. Okay. And there's your one, two, three, four, and your Chevrolet emblems. Okay. So, Bill, come on a, on this side, and uh, how do you open the hood on this? The hood release is right down here. Got it, okay. And let's uh, see this 427 turbo jet that we're looking for. And there we go. That's the top of the line, the correct overspray, I'm guessing. Yes. On the exhaust uh, manifold, the single master cylinder. Yep. Any problem stopping this thing when you're driving it? Well, it depends upon how fast you're Okay, going. yeah, fair enough. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to get the front. Awesome, let's get that information right there. And let me get the other side as well. So that people can see that. Let's do one extra thing while we've got the chance. Let's shut the hood for a second. All right. Is it, make sure this wire is in the right spot. Okay, that wire that's oh. on the... Boy, that is actually, that is a wire, it's interesting, these cars have transistor ignition, the, the high horsepower cars, Yeah. and this is actually an extra wire that is not required on a transistor ignition car. Okay. So normally that is capped and tucked in there. Tucked in, yeah. Let's do this. Uh, well, we'll show it just so it feels comfortable and everybody feels good about that. Um, and then you've got the uh, the battery here, and so so forth and so on. Here's what I want to do. While we've got it open for just a moment, let's start it okay. for just a second, so that people can kind of. I think when you hear this, you'll say, "Well, Lou, I'm glad you have took the moment to have Bill turn it over." 
That's a 427 with 425 horse sound like. It sounds like this. <laughs> doesn't sound much better than that. <laughs> so Bill, let's shut the hood. Bill, come, let's shut that all the way. We'll go on both sides, sure. Come on around this side. We'll close it like a Corvette. Close it like a Corvette guy. Never there you go. Stay right it. there. Stay by the car. All right. Bill, thanks for having the shop. Thanks for having me out. Thanks for being at my car store. Thanks, Lou. Thank <laughs> you.